could be the purpose of filing a bail application see in the case of an anticipatory bail the accused the offender is apprehending the alleged offender is apprehending arrest therefore the purpose of filing a, an application for an anticipatory bail is to get an order that in the event of his arrest in that offense he may be granted bail by the arresting officer then in the case of a regular application bail application it is for getting release from the arrest already effected he has already been arrested he may either be in police custody or in judicial custody then he will have to be released from custody so that is the application for regular bail these are the need for arresting a, uh, for filing a bail application now arrest means physical restraint put on a person as a result of allegation or accusation that he has committed a crime for an offense of a quasi criminal nature you may refer to state of punjab versus ajay singh ar 1953 supreme court 10 state of punjab versus ajay singh ar 1953 supreme court page 10 five judges constitution bench and uh, the the procedure for arrest of a person by a police officer and the formalities to be carried out by the police officer are contained in sections 41 and 41a to 41d of crpc 41d gives the arrestee a right to meet an advocate of his choice during his investigation by the police but the said section state that the arrestee shall not be entitled to meet his advocate throughout the process of interrogation no he has no such right he can consult the counsel at a stage during interrogation that's all not throughout then section 43 deals with the right of a private person to arrest an offender who commits a non bailable and cognizable offense in the presence in his presence or to arrest any proclaimed offender a private person can arrest a proclaimed offender section 44 gives an executive or judicial magistrate to arrest or order the arrest of a person who commits an offense in the presence of such magistrate section 45 crpc extends a protection from arrest to members of the armed forces then section 46 crpc describes the manner of arrest by a police officer or any other person by actually touching or confining the body of the offender unless there is voluntary submission to custody by word or action these are the formalities regarding arrest therefore once a person is in custody he will have to file a regular application or application for regular bail for getting his released from custody yes